Rescue efforts are continuing this week in Red Lake in the hopes of finding two missing fishermen. Our own Sherelle Moore has an update on this week's strategies on the water. It's been more than a week since one man, identified as 29-year-old Dylan Bolio and a 17-year-old male juvenile, were reported missing after their boat capsized near the cutoff in Red Lake. Today, crews were split into teams that included family members of the missing. They searched from 6.30 in the morning until they lost daylight. Based on the coordinates and uh, locations that they've been working with on the, um, on the search this past week, is we use that for our reference guide and uh, we deployed the submersible um, vehicles in the water to do grid searches. The location of the capsized boat is no longer visible, although crews were able to find it thanks to sonars and underwater cameras. Today's search was closed off to the public and to the media. Authorities tell me it's because of safety reasons. Because of the conditions, um, all the operations are airboat based. Um, we, the, the ice is not safe for us to be on. It's not safe for anybody to be on. So the, the only safe way for us to approach that search is by airboat. Ice has played a factor in this story in more ways than one. Police tell me it's now believed the shifting ice may have been what pushed the boat underwater. Today the slush posed even more challenges. With the ice shelf we've had a lot of shifting in the ice in the past week from uh, from when it was first discovered or um, the boat was located. So. Um, that's that's one of our obstacles that we're working with right now is the the movement in the ice over the past week isn't in the same condition. Tonight I was told although the public has been very helpful at this point there's not much else they can do. The public was um, able to contribute when we had open water because then you have people that can put boats into the water. Uh, right now I think it would pose a more danger um, pose more danger in a more dangerous situation to have the public participate in any search efforts right now. Tomorrow, the plan is to pick up where crews left off. And for final words, authorities are warning the community to stay away. It's, it's best just to stay off of the lake until it's frozen, until that ice is, ice is at a, a safe depth. Reporting in Red Lake, Sherelle Moore, Lakeland News. The Grand Forks team is scheduled to be in Red Lake until tomorrow. There is a possibility the search could be postponed if weather conditions worsen. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.